Okay, this is a very quick video to show you a new feature that's been added to the Zoe 703 two-channel oscilloscope, which is this one here. And I'm grateful to Cortina Ron for pointing this out. He made a comment on uh, one of my previous videos about this scope. I'll put a link to that uh, up the top. And uh, he pointed out that in the new firmware, which is version 1.4.2, uh, there's an extra feature which uh, actually is rather nice. So let me show you what that is. If we move along to the menu here now, uh, one of the menus here now says FFT, which is, I'm sure you're probably all aware, Fast Fourier Transform. So if we press that, we now get a display here in red, which instead of being uh, voltage and time, the red trace is actually... Um, voltage if you like and frequency so this is a display akin to that that you might find on a spectrum analyzer now you can hopefully see here that i've got um, a sine wave being generated by a signal generator it's uh, 14 kilohertz as it happens not that the frequency matters and uh, that's a sine wave and we can see here the fundamental at uh, 14 kilohertz now this isn't meant to be uh, by any stretch of the imagination, this isn't meant to be, uh, if you like, uh, an explanation of how the FFT works, but uh, that is the um, fundamental frequency, and a sine wave you'd expect to be nice and clean. So we'll keep it at 14 kilohertz. but what I'm now going to do is I'm going to change to a different waveform, which you can see is a square wave, and I think the first thing to notice there is we've now got some points here, harmonics actually, and those harmonics exist because uh, of the sharp edges on the waveform. And again, using the left and right, you can isolate harmonics and look at them. That's the fundamental. See the harmonic there? You can see yet more there. If we do that, you see even more. They tail away into the distance. So yeah, you've got um, a display that's akin to a spectrum analyzer. Now if you put those two waveforms into a spectrum analyzer, Here's a plot um, for the uh, sine wave. Let's go back to that. Uh, there we go. That That's a plot for the sine wave. And here is one for a square wave. Hopefully uh, you can see that uh, there's some similarity. Please bear in mind here that uh, we've got a, you know, a, a cheap and cheerful oscilloscope here doing some math to show you this. Whereas the views from the spectrum analyzer are a pretty expensive instrument. So there you go. That's a really nice update, I think, to the scope and definitely worth doing. At the moment, it only works on the two channel. Uh, there is no uh, firmware update at the moment for the single channel one. But uh, this was already a nice bit of kit for the price. And I think that's just been made nicer. So uh, I'd encourage you to... Um, uh, do the update. It's pretty pretty straightforward to do. You just have to copy the new firmware file onto the machine and as soon as you do it recognises it and straight away uh, you get um, uh, the, the machine will upgrade and when it's upgraded you, you've got uh, this set up here. So there you go. hope that's useful. Um, enjoy the Fast Fourier Transform.